हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन आ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज़ ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज जी फोर एफ एल एक्स वी एम एस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब दैट वॉट वॉट इज जी फोर एफ एल एक्स वी एम एस एक्चुअली इज वॉट आर इट फीचर इन फंक्शंस एंड आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू सॉल्व ऑन इन मोबाइल फोन एंड हाउ यू कन्फिगर द ऐप टू मेक द कैमरा लाइफ and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet now if we are talking about its feature and functions then you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you take control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can take a backup of the recorded videos and many more so now we'll tell you that how you install an app on your mobile phone and how you configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its feature to install on your mobile phone you should open all your app store and search for g4 flx vms so basically this is g4 flx vms now what what first thing you should do you should click on this cloud button but if you are installing it first time then apart from this cloud you should option get just click on the get in my case i because i already installed it so i just i got this cloud of button just click on this and after that it will take time to install on your mobile phone once it is successfully installed you should find the option open just click the option open and click allow and again click skip just click on start because i do not log in because i make a video for educational and training purpose so i do not want to waste your time just quickly tell you what the what the main thing in this video just click on start and click agree so when you click on this again click skip so basically this is the interface of the app the first thing you should do is you click on the left side three line just here you find the logged in when you logged in you find the many option but i make a video for again for educational and training purpose the first thing you should do you should click on the server list and click on plus button here you find the lot of option like manually add scan code to add lan search generate device so if you are in front of the device and you want to scan qr code then you should click on the scan code to add and if your device and your mobile phone is connected on the same network then then you should click on the lan search and if you have want to connect by using a local ip address or a static ip address or a serial number then you should click on manually add when you click on manually add you find the serial number ip domain basically serial number is the number which you find under the network option and under the nat option of your device okay so i want to connect by using a static ip so just i click on the ip domain okay and after that i should enter my static ip here and you should enter any name which is which is usually remember easily remember for example here just click on test device okay and please note when the things the username and the password both are the of device device means the device you are adding whether you are adding dvr whether you are adding nvr whether you are adding ip cam this username password is of that device so i just enter my username and and my password and click done and again click save 
when I click save you find that uh, symbol turns into green this shows that my device is connected to the this app is connected to the device and you find the model number also it means that it is successfully connected now the first thing you should do just click on this play button just click on this play button and your com camera comes live okay just double click any cam so it, it comes on the full screen so first thing will tell you that how you check the recording on this app by using this app first thing you find on the on the on the below option if you start from the right side then the second option four dot button is the option to check the recording just click on this option and you you see that it's, it's turned directly into your recording page for example you find that i have one to check the recording of on 24 just click on this and here is it is the uh, 12 hour 24 hour format like 0 to 0 you can check the recording at any time so in this way you can check the recording and if you want to change the camera camera just click on this here you can change the speed of the recording and many more okay just again just right click it and the and apart from this if you have a camera is ai feature then the first button three dot button is the feature that you want to use to check manual recording manual alarm and many ai feature okay and the third option from the right side is the square four square just click on this in this way you can change the view of the camera like single camera view four camera view 16 camera view and many more okay and the fourth option is my is the speaker that you see when you click on the speaker you see the you want you hear the voice of the camera if your camera is audio enabled and the fourth and the last option is mic if you want to communicate by using a device i then you want and you, you just click on this and you want to come connect with the, your device and it, it says that the, the it, device does not support the intercoms okay and if you if you have a multiple device and you want to switch just click on this arrow just test device and one two three option and the two arrow is the arrow you want to connect with a device okay and if you have renamed the camera and you want to check the camera if you have a lot of camera you want to check by camera name just click on this one two three option you find all the camera like this okay just click any camera and the camera comes live okay so that's all for this video thank you for watching thank you once again thank you have a nice day